everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing amazing this morning as we'll be looking at what's going on across the atlantic with the focus being on the caribbean so that rainfall increase is still being forecast by the models and we're going to be taking a look at what is expected as we're going to be heading into the next several days and some areas could definitely receive some substantial rain in the caribbean which would significantly help out with any drought conditions currently being experienced. So let's talk about it. First things first, we can see here on the satellite imagery that there is still some severe weather moving through parts of the United States. All those white dots indicate lightning strikes, so lots of thunderstorms. And a message from the Storm Prediction Center says, Severe thunderstorms with a few tornadoes, scattered damage in winds, and isolated large hail are possible across the upper Ohio River Valley and parts of the Appalachians this afternoon. Scattered damage in winds and a couple tornadoes will also be possible across southeast Georgia and into northern Florida, mainly this morning through early afternoon. So it's not over yet, but eventually this system is going to be making its way out. It's already doing that. But if you're being affected by this, please ensure that if there are any warnings, you heed them and you stay updated with your local weather service. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the Caribbean. As we zoom in here, are a few cloud clusters around. There are some thunderstorms in uh, parts of the Yucatan last evening. And so uh, there is going to be that possibility of more substantial rain and even uh, thunderstorm activity as we head into later today. But overall for the region, it's a beautiful morning for many areas. Uh, it will be another windy day as well. So let's take a look at the forecast starting out with rainfall. So let's go. This is what Euro is showing as we're going to be heading through today and into the very early morning hours of tomorrow. We can see that uh, colorful shade in some of those oranges or reds, maybe up to an inch of rain as we head through today for parts of the Yucatan, Northern, uh, Guatemala, Belize as well. So within that area, there could be some additional rain, even some periods of heavy rain. Uh, further into uh, Southern Central America, Costa Rica, Panama, there may be some activity there as well. As for the offshore islands of San Andreas, Providencia, much not expected today in terms of rain. For Colombia, some spots may receive some heavy downpours at times. Same story for Venezuela. To the Guyanas, there may be some substantial rain today. ABC Islands should be on the dry side, similar thing for Tobago, but there could be a few showers passing by, even in Trinidad as well. Now, there's a chance of a passing shower or so for Grenada through Dominica, including Barbados. But then as we head towards Guadeloupe, going north through Anguilla, the rainfall chance, I would say, is a bit higher because we can see that it's, uh, it's kind of more colorful there. Same thing for the Virgin Islands and parts of Puerto Rico in the east. As we head to Hispaniola, much of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands and Cuba as well, Cayman Islands, much is not really expected today. For Jamaica, some areas will be dry. Others may receive some showers, especially this afternoon. Wind forecast. So as I said, it's going to be yet another windy day across the Caribbean. For most areas, winds will be around 23 miles per hour or so with higher gusts, especially in the South Caribbean. And uh, eventually, as we're going to be heading into this evening, though, things should calm down for areas such as the Cayman Islands and parts of Cuba. But generally across the Caribbean, it's likely to be another breezy day. And with that, seas are a bit more unsettled. So in the Gulf, offshore of the southeast U.S. coast, offshore of the northeast Caribbean, we can see those green uh, shadings. Waves could be up to around 8 or even 9 feet at a maximum offshore of the Caribbean islands and in the southern Caribbean offshore Colombia, as we're seeing. So as we're heading more to that yellow shade, we're getting higher with those wave heights. So it's going to be a bit more unsettled within the vicinity of the Eastern Caribbean islands and the Central Caribbean, even uh, near the keys of Belize as well. Then we're seeing some of those green shadings popping up. And then as we head into later today, going into uh, tonight, we can see that it gets a bit more active offshore the Southeastern US and remains active within the vicinity of the Eastern islands of the Caribbean. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that rainfall increase is expected so as we're going to be heading into next week models are pretty much consistent about that happening for the northeast caribbean so let's take a look at what euro has to show 
here we can see it uh, this is as we're going to be heading into next monday go into tuesday we see all these green shadings indicating the precipitation rate and we see this really loitering around uh the eastern caribbean so models have been very consistent about that increase in rain and uh to kind of help solidify on that this is the rainfall accumulation through the next 10 days so it's not all expected in one day this is for 10 days this goes through to saturday evening of next week so with the continuous rainfall activity as the new week commences this is the total expected between now and the end of next week so rainfall amounts in some areas could be as high as three and a half going up to four inches in the northeast caribbean near the dominican republic puerto rico the virgin islands and i would even say near the north uh, the northern leeward islands so compared to other areas we can see that it's very very colorful and the more colorful the map is the higher the rainfall amounts the next area we see very colorful which is not so strange is south america the guyanas uh, even into brazil although much of it is cut off and into parts of colombia as well the continuous rain to be experienced between now and then this is what the total is expected to be for the end of next week so again northeast caribbean is likely to get pretty active and that reflects on the weekly forecast from the climate forecast system so let's take a look at the anomaly map here this is from the week of the 11th of april to the 18th so between now and the middle of next week we can see these green shadings which indicate above average rain the yellows indicate below average rain so for most of the caribbean below average rainfall and we know that for sure there hasn't been too much rain around it's been so hot so dry we definitely need it but then as we're going to be heading to the week of the 18th to the 25th of april we still see that green shading within the vicinity of the eastern islands Eventually, though, as we're going to be heading into May, this is for May 9th to 16, we can see more of the Caribbean within that green shading, and not just the green, but the darker shading of green. So we could definitely start to see rainfall kicking up for the region on a whole as we head into May, which is the start of the rainy season for many areas. So that is what is expected, guys, that rainfall increased. It seems pretty much likely at this point, but I'll keep you posted on it as I do every single day. So... That's some great news for uh, many persons who are experiencing those drought conditions. So that is what I wanted to share with you in this update video, and I really hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so, and remember to always be weatherwise.